Hey everyone, what's going on? In this video, we are talking about Electrocore. I have spoken about this company twice on this channel, but if you are new, you might want to stick around because this is a very interesting company. They are a medical device company that has developed the Gamma Core Sapphire medical device, which is for cluster headaches and migraines. It's very game changing. They have been doing some studies and some updates with these studies, they have shown positive results. But in this video, we are going to be talking about some business updates and financial updates with ElectroCore that they dropped two days ago. So stick around because it's very exciting. Now, I hope it is not too much to ask for an early thumbs up on this video. Subscribe if you aren't already and turn on this post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you how or where to invest your money. I am here and only here to post my own thoughts and opinions with any stocks it may do a coverage of. With that being said, let's jump right into this video. So we're here on ElectroCore. They posted this update on January 11th, 2021. Now it says here, for year 2020 revenue expected at the upper end of previously announced guidance range of $3.3 million to $3.5 million, greater than 40% growth over full year 2019 revenue of $2.4 million. Net cash used for the fourth quarter of 2020 of $3.7 million compares favorably to previously announced guidance of $4 million. And as of December 31st, 2020, cash on hand that they have is $22.6 million. Now, quick disclaimer, I am invested in this company. I am long with this company because I do see massive potential with their Gamma Core device. And it's just very innovating. And we'll get more into this right now. Now, CEO Dan Goldberger did say, notwithstanding the resurgence of COVID-19 case counts, which began midway through the fourth quarter and impacted our customers and our ability to access them, we were able to deliver greater than 40% year-over-year revenue growth. In addition, we made progress on many clinical and operational fronts. Our COVID-19 initiatives, including our investigator-initiated clinical studies, are ongoing. Additionally, a third investigator-initiated trial commenced for opioid use, which we talk about in one of my last videos on this company. Company. We have designed a distribution agreement outside of the US and UK into Eastern Europe and expect to announce additional international distribution agreements in the coming months. So they have more international agreements that they have not announced just yet to the public. So this is big. We reported favorable top line data from our premium two study further supporting our previously announced label expansion into the important migraine prevention market. Finally, we bolstered our government channels initiatives through the addition of retired Navy Commander Sylvester Steele, a seasoned U.S. Navy and business development executive. We are well financed and we are eager to turn the page on a new year with numerous opportunities in front of us. Now, one thing related to this U.S. Navy and business development executive, I never really touched on this, but they do have ties to veterans affairs and veterans and treating these people with, you know, the migraines with their cluster headaches. And it does say here that they have a federal supply schedule opportunity with more than 10 million covered lives between the Veterans Administration, active military facilities, and the Indian Health Service. 400,000 patients saw VA healthcare providers for headaches in 2018. Migraine grew tenfold in the VA between 2004 to 2012, and 77,000 active duty and reserve and National Guard members found that 7% men and 20% women had provider diagnosed migraines. So they do have opportunities with these veterans and helping them, helping them recover with these migraines and really treat them well with this device. As it says here for the government channels, during the fourth quarter of 2020, 71 Department of Veterans Affairs and the Department of Defense Military Treatment Facilities purchased Gamma Core products as compared to 68 during the third quarter of 2020 and 54 during the fourth quarter of 2019. Also, during the fourth quarter of 2020, the company shipped approximately 1,232 paid months of therapy pursuant to VA and DOD originating prescriptions, compared to 1,571 paid months of therapy during the third quarter of 2020 and 829 during the fourth quarter of 2019. So the numbers are pretty decent. They're not too decent right now because of COVID. As it says right here, fourth quarter sales and paid months of therapy for VA and DOD facilities continue to be impacted by the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic, which saw case count surge in many parts of the country beginning amid Q4. The company continues to leverage all telehealth and other virtual capabilities at its disposal, and management believes it remains well positioned to resume normalized outreach activities when the pandemic subsides. So like I said, the numbers are pretty decent within the Veterans Affairs. And serving the veterans affairs space really gives them new opportunities with other government agencies. 
Electric Court announced in October the appointment of business development and retired U.S. Navy veteran Commander Sylvester Steele as VP and general manager of its government channels business unit, like we just talked about. This guy can really help them give them that exposure and help these veterans that are suffering from migraines and cluster headaches. Now, real quick, I want to look at Electro Course stock right now. As of today, January 13th, they are trading for $1.71 a share. They are up 1%. Now, for the past five days, it does look like they have been volatile with lows of $1.63 a share and another low of $1.63 a share. With the highs in this past five days of $1.73 a share and $1.75 a share. And for the one month, they are down 5.6%. Now back to the business update, speaking of outside of the U.S., during the fourth quarter of 2020, ElectroCore shipped approximately 1,123 paid months of therapy outside of the United States as compared to 1,020 paid months of therapy outside the United States during the third quarter of 2020 and 961 during the fourth quarter of 2019. Now, in October 2020, NHS England's Innovation and Technology Payment Program, which provided reimbursement for gamma core and adult cluster headache patients, again extended its coverage for a six-month period through March 2021 with the option to extend for an additional three years. The total contract opportunity, assuming of exercise of the three-year option, could be up to approximately 3.6 million euros. Gamma core has been reimbursed through ITP since April 2019, and the company views its continued reimbursement through this program as an important validation of NVNS technology. ElectroCore is concurrently working collaboratively with NHS on the launch of a new funding policy titled the MedTech Funding Mandate, details of which the company expects to be publishing in the coming months. So another catalyst to watch out for this year. And another agreement that we spoke about recently in 2020 was an exclusive agreement with Pro Medical Baltic whereby PMB will be the exclusive distributor of Gamma Core to patients suffering from primary headache disorders in Eastern Europe. PMB is a leading distributor of medical technology in the region and has extensive experience in neuromodulation products. The company is pleased with the interest received for international distribution of NVNS technology and expect to announce additional international distribution agreements in the coming months. This is crazy, you guys. They are really expanding their exposure and really taking any opportunity they can get internationally. Now, research and development Gamma Core Sapphire is currently being evaluated in two investigator-initiated trials in hospitalized COVID-19 patients. Now, back in July, they did get the FDA emergency use authorization to use the Gamma Core on COVID-19 patients that had troubles with asthma and other respiratory issues. But in this trial, this one is for a hospital in Valencia, Spain, and one at Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Enrollment in these studies has fluctuated based on the local level of COVID-19 cases and the research surge in COVID-19 cases in many parts of the world has resulted in investigators enrolling patients at an accelerated pace. In Savior 1, 37 of 90 patients have now been enrolled and completed the study and in Savior 2, 20 of 60 patients have been enrolled. Now, from a previously spoken about study that we talked about was a premium 2 study assessing gamma core for prevention of migraine. In this study, there was positive results. It says here, 44.9% of the subject using gamma core had at least a 50% decrease in the number of migraine days compared to 26.8% for those receiving sham stimulation. Of particular clinical relevance were the results in the predefined subpopulation patients diagnosed as having migraine with aura. In this group, patients using NVNS had 5.5 fewer headache days compared to 2.7 fewer headache days in the sham group. Patients using GammaCore also reported a statistically significant decrease in migraine-associated disability and improvement in their quality of life across all quality of life endpoints in the study. This is absolutely huge. There were no serious adverse effects reported in the study, which is consistent with the NVNS strong safety and tolerability profile. I'm telling you all, this company is really doing something with their Gamma Core Sapphire device and really improving and treating people, and it's showing results, positive results, that it actually really helps. However, it is still ongoing and we won't get the full study results in a peer-reviewed medical journal in 2021, which is another catalyst, so I'm not trying to speak too soon, but again, these are positive results. And another catalyst that we spoke about, I know I keep saying that we spoke about because we did, but yes, we did speak about this. Gamma Core has been selected for a National Institute on Drug Abuse sponsored study in opioid use disorders back in December 2020. 
The study is being run by Dr. Douglas Bremner at Emory University in collaboration with the Georgia Institute of Technology and the City University of New York. The 40-subject study will assess the ability of NVNS to decrease opioid cravings and subjects with a history of opioid use disorder who are stable on medication as well as examine the possible mechanisms that might facilitate this clinical effect. Now, this is a huge, huge catalyst to watch out for. We can really see the vast potential that this gamma core has on other issues within people that are fighting with. As we look here on the presentation, which we saw this slide numerous times, their platform technology has vast potential. And of course, cluster headache, migraines, post-traumatic headache, post-traumatic stress disorder, hemorrhage, strokes, gastroenterology, inflammation, reactive airway disease, and so much more. So there is a lot of potential and they're doing these trials to see how well this gamma core device can really improve and help within these people. Now this is in addition to the IIT assessing the utility of gamma core in mild traumatic brain injury and post-traumatic stress disorder that Electrocore announced during the third quarter. That study is also being conducted by Dr. Bremner and is being supported by the VA's Office of Research and Development and the Atlanta VA Medical Center. And now for the financial Financial guidance, which is looking absolutely very well. Full year 2020 revenue, Electric Core anticipates that full year 2020 revenue will be at the upper end of the previously announced guidance range of 3.3 million to 3.5 million, representing greater than 40% growth over full year 2019 revenue of $2.4 million. And once again, for the Q4 2020 net cash used, net cash used during the fourth quarter of 2020 is expected to be approximately $3.7 million. For the full year of 2020, net cash used was approximately $20.2 million, representing a 55% decline as compared to the net cash use of $44.5 million for the full year of 2019. And the company ended the fourth quarter of 2020 with approximately $22.6 million of cash. This absolutely has me so excited, you guys, for Electrical Core with their finances and their business updates, these deals that they have not yet announced, which is an exciting thing to look forward to. Also, from the positive results that we're seeing with these ongoing studies is absolutely on the right track. This little handheld device, the Gamma Core Sapphire, is showing some great positive results. And if all goes well with other trials for different health conditions, it's going to be huge for Electro Core, which has me very excited. And I just cannot wait for these other catalysts. I cannot wait for these studies that are ongoing to drop some more results on how it's doing. I'm just too excited. And I think we can see some great movement in this stock this year. I'm hoping we can reach about $5 a share real soon. I think we can see that the first half of 2021. And remember, this is just my opinion. Super excited to see what's coming for this company. And I am definitely holding for the long term. Well, I just wanted to share that update with you all. I hope you guys enjoyed this update on Electro Core, ticker symbol ECOR. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think about this. Your thoughts are appreciated as always. Also, don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you aren't already, and turn on those post notifications to be notified every time I post a new video. As always, I would appreciate the support so, so much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video.